Okay, so I'm going to go on to the next exercise now, ladder in lesson 13, Fibonacci numbers. Uh, let's get straight into this. Okay, you have to climb up a ladder. The ladder has exactly N rungs numbered from one to N. With each step, you can ascend by one or two rungs. More precisely, with your first step, you can stand on rung one or two. If you're on rung K, you can move to rung K plus one or K plus two. Finally, you have to stand on rung N. Your task is to count the number of different ways of climbing to the top of the ladder. For example, given N equals four, you have five different ways of climbing the ladder. Either one rung at a time, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, or two, two. Given N equals five, you have eight ways. So there's one way with all ones. There's one, two, three, four ways with one, not a two. One, two, three ways with two lots of two. The number of different ways can be very large, so it's sufficient to return the result modulo 2p for a given integer p. Write a function that given two non-empty arrays a and b of l integers returns an array consisting of l integers specifying the consecutive answers. Position l should contain the number of different ways of climbing the ladder with a l rungs modulo 2b. Okay, so for example, given L equals 5, A4, B3, the function should return 5, 4, 2, it should return 1, as explained above. Okay, so with 4, we have 5 ways of ascending the ladder. 2 to the power of 3 is 2, 4, 8. So 5 is less than 8, so we just return 5. In this case, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. We have 5 ways to climb up to position 4. 5 mod 4 is 1. Okay, five, we have eight. Two to the power of four is greater than eight. Two to the power of three is eight, so for the five we return zero. And two to the power of one is two. Four, we have five ways. Five mod two is one, okay. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. Al is an integer within the range of 1 and 50,000. So this is the number of rungs on the ladder. Each element of the array A is an integer within the range of 1 to Al. Each element of the array B is an integer within the range of 1 to 30. Okay, so I'm guessing that this um, modulo thing is to stop an overthrow, overflow. I'll just check what 2 to the power of 30 is. So, um, two to the power, no, 2 to the power of 30 is 1 billion and something that's within integer max value which i think is going to be important okay so i'm just going to look at this a bit more with notepad um i think it's safe to say that um it's something to do with fibonacci uh with four steps we want the answer well we'll forget about the modulo thing for now uh, but with four steps we want the answer to be five five steps we want the answer to be eight. Now the Fibonacci sequence, zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight. 
the fact that those appear there, I think it's safe to say that the answer is one, two, three, four. It's the Fibonacci number from the start. One, two, three, four, five. The number of rungs plus one. Eight and five is 13, 13 and eight, 21, 30, four. Okay, and about this modulo thing, I'm just wondering, um, we're doing two to the power of something. If we were to just do a modulo on the Fibonacci sequence, would it still work? I suspect it would because I think that this modulo idea is just to stop us from having to go into over our int limit. So I'm going to work out the Fibonacci sequence again, but I'm going to do mod four. So one, one, two, three, and then five mod four would be one. Then three and one mod four that would be four, so mod four would be zero. One and zero would be one. Zero and one would be one. One and one would be two. I'm just gonna go a little bit further. 34, 55, one and two would be three. Now, five mod four is one. 13 mod 4 would be 1, 21 mod 4 would be 1, 34 mod 4 divided to 32, so that would be 2, 55 would be 3, so I think that seems right, so I've made two assumptions there and they both seem to have worked out, the first assumption is that we can use the Fibonacci sequence to work out how many steps and the second assumption is that we can just do um, mod 2 to the power of something as we go through the Fibonacci sequence to stop it from overflowing so I've got a pretty good idea about how I'm going to do this now so I'll have a go. Okay, so there I've just put in the exercise question. Um, and now what, what, what am I gonna do? Now I think I'm gonna have to pre, um, calculate the Fibonacci numbers because said in the exercise we could have 50,000 different values so I'm going to pre-calculate my Fibonacci numbers I'm going to have to do them from um, up to the maximum value of A so I'm going to start by creating by working out the maximum value of a now this isn't going to be particularly efficient but it's just one scan over the array so i'm going to make a max a value and i'm going to scan over my a array and set max a be the maximum between what it is already and the value in the A array at that index. Now I'm going to work out Fibonacci numbers from the 
first position um, in the in here we want to we can forget about the zero we want to go for four one two three four so it's the number of steps plus two so I'll forget about the first number and I'll calculate Fibonacci numbers from to the to the a length plus one so Fib numbers with new int a length plus one and the first fib number I'll set to one and the second I'll set to one and then from two to a length plus one I'll calculate the next fib number Now that might get very high so because of what I said about modulo I can just um, do a modulo on it now uh, what I'm going to do is the maximum value is 1 to 30 in the in the second array and we know that that 2 to the power of 30 it's within our integer max value. So as I'm calculating these Fibonacci numbers, I'm just gonna round them down now by doing modulo math.pow two to the power of 30. So that's just gonna prevent our value from getting too big. I'll just cast that to an int. We know we're dealing with integers. Okay, and now I'm going to work out the result. So the we want to get the um, value in A. So I'm going to loop through the A array. And our result uh, so at the top, I'm just going to create a into a result, and that's going to be a dot length. So our result at the index equals a fib num at the index of a i. mod um, uh, mod value uh, I'll call that M and M is 2 to the power of the value in B at the index in the second array at the index let's cast that to an int and I think that's it, return result. Okay, so what we're expecting is 51801. Uh, let's see. 51801. Okay, I think that's it. And I think I'm going to submit that. I think there are difficulty was knowing that it was a Fibonacci or the Fibonacci sequence would get to the solution but that was obvious because it's in the Fibonacci section of the uh, codility exercises and also the thing about the um, modulo not changing the Fibonacci sequence but I kind of guessed that from the uh, from the question. So let's submit that and see if it works. Um, no imports. Let's run the tests. 
successful Let's submit the task I'm 100% so I'm happy with that that's my solution to Codility's ladder exercise thanks for watching